Hi, my name is Titi Lokbe Shonuga, and I am a poet, a writer, and a performer. My work has always centered on the voices of women and womanhood and healing and our incredible resilience and capacity for magic. I opened my mouth and found an amen. In the last year, I wrote a musical. <laughs> I published a collection of poetry called This Is How We Disappear, which is again about the disappearances of women both physical and emotional and also a spoken word album called swim found my grandmother's praying hands callous from years of raising children i think performance is a gift in any art form but particularly for poetry ready and waiting to tell it i opened my mouth and found an amen again and again and again hi my name is aaron munson and i'm a cinematographer and visual artist I think with my work, I like to create something that's as authentic and honest as possible and, and isn't afraid to kind of delve into something that's a bit more vulnerable and darker per se. A few of the last projects that I've done have dealt with depression. Depression has been something that's impacted my life, like within my family and even within myself. One which uses carbon ink and various chemicals to create these macro kind of this macro world that kind of symbolizes the chemical nature of depression and like how it functions within us. I personally love creating work in less than desirable circumstances and if we push ourselves into spaces that, that could make us feel vulnerable and uncomfortable, personally some of the best work that I do is in those situations. Hi, my name is Jonathan Kotrick, and I am a sound artist and composer. <laughs> writing music is the same as writing words for me. It's a way to discuss or talk about something outside of music. I think there's something really cool about being able to completely transport somebody. It's almost like a float tank. Um, without maybe the escapism. The music is a little bit more gritty and a little bit more anxious. I kind of wanted to have that, that feeling where you, you listen to it and it, it's kind of overwhelming. I would say whatever the audience feels, I just want them to feel a lot of it. Hi, my name is Bevan Dooley. I am a playwright, a dramaturg, and a writing instructor. I would say that the thing that excites me most is how much possibility there is in playwriting. There is the potential to create things that at first glance people will read your script and go, that seems impossible. And then lo and behold, several months later, you've created this seemingly impossible thing. So I'm working on a, this really behemoth play it's an expanded version of a play that I wrote. The first time we did it, we did it in an actual apartment. It takes place in Romania <laughs> when, the country, when the country was still under communism, but people were really sort of thirsting for contact with the outside world. We're going to expand the space a little bit, but we're still gonna have that sort of like, the feeling of something private and something secret going on. My name is Carla Taylor and I am a painter. My art is an exploration of my, my life experiences of stories. I grew up in the north, uh, spent a lot of time in nature, so a lot of my work is influenced by nature uh, and my connection to nature. The paintings themselves are often uh, figurative, bright, colorful, often will contain some sort of narrative. I also love the idea of just kind of the escape into the dreamscape and um, drawing out from the subconscious any images or um, stories that are coming through. My name is Hunter Cardinal and I'm an actor and indigenous myth architect. So I'm fascinated by very old indigenous myths that have been woven into the stars. Um, to guide my ancestors on really long journeys across the continent. Long, long, long ago, there were beings of light called the Kisikuk. 
um, but also to remind us of who we are and who we dream we can be. They had been searching and trying to find out more about who they were and, and what were they doing as a part of this great mystery that they were living in. A lot of it's finding these ancient myths to root and create a solid foundation for these new stories. Follow me. My name is Rayanne Haynes. I am a multi-genre author, poet, performer, and producer. I am here to use my voice. I write poetry, my first love. Um, I also write urban fantasy, uh, paranormal romance, and nonfiction. Uh, work, and I've been published with all of them. It's cold under your skin truth, the build your walls and keep them out truth, the clutch your palms, cut your skin, stick to your guns truth. I Everything that I write touches on the female, the female story, the female narrative, and trying to elevate the female story. I am here to share my voice because some of my sisters still don't have one. A place like Edmonton just feeds poetry, and it has fed poetry for uh, as long as I've been around in it. I think we're very, very fortunate in this city to have the poetry community we have. My name is Scott Portingale, and I'm a filmmaker and animator. What draws me to film is the marriage between story and image. There's been sort of this linear progression with my work, and a film that I finished a few years ago called Infinitude shows the birth of the cosmos and existence all through experimental images over five minutes and the latest film that i'm just finishing is called emergence and it's about it's the story of emergence of consciousness within the human body uh, so as i progress i'll probably just go through time until i catch up with myself and then maybe i'll start making films about myself art is something that's timeless it's uh, sort of the footprints of her imagination going backwards, and it's also a probe into the future. Uh, the artist gets there before the philosopher, before the scientist. They go to places where people don't go. My name is Al Henderson, and I'm a sculptor. So what I do is I take what I understand about the world, and I put it into an objective form. I create an object. Public work is great because you have a place to put it, and the place can give it meaning. The Two Joes is an attempt, I guess, to make the smallest story you could possibly tell. No props, no clothes. Just two men. Maybe in 800 years, one of the things I made will survive. Maybe, who knows. Now, a thought that I had can be taken up and it, and it uh, just add water and it grows again. And that is a real kind of magic. Hi, I'm Billy Zizi and I'm a songwriter and guitar player. I write songs and I sing and I also play guitar. I've been doing this for 10 years, like in Edmonton, pretty consistently, and it's been really cool. I've been really lucky to do that. It's an interactive experience to perform, and I think a really important part of it is the person who comes and listens and who like gives their energy to the performer. That's what makes it a really special experience. It's not that you're alone in your room playing, but that you're part of something bigger, like you're part of a community who's come together to, to celebrate music and art and, and whatever else, you know, that sphere is connected to. 